Ashley Skeva, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today I'm going to show you how to set your browser settings for Safari on your iOS device. Now when you surf the internet on either your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod Touch, your browser actually stores a lot of that information. So let's check out how to set our browser settings in Safari. You want to update your device to iOS 5, which is the latest software update for your iPad or iPhone. Let's open up our iPhone and go to Settings. And once we go to Settings, we're actually going to scroll down and we're going to look for Safari. And we're going to tap on Safari and you'll see there are many different options for your browsing experience. You can actually choose your default search engine from Google to Yahoo to Bing, depending on what you like to use. You can choose if you would like autofill to turn on or off. If you would like to open your links in a new page or on the same page, you can choose that. Now here's the important part, privacy. Private browsing right now is toggled to off, which means our browser in Safari is keeping that information like our history. So let's say, I don't want my husband to know what I have been looking for for his birthday party this year, so I'm gonna go ahead and toggle private browsing to on. And at this point, it will ask me if I'd like to close the tabs that I've been using in Safari. And usually you wanna do that. So let's go ahead and click on close all. So once we've done that, you can actually choose cookie options, which is data that sites keep once you visit there. You can actually tap on that and say, accept cookies never from visited sites or always we can go ahead and leave it on from visited, which is the default. But if you'd like to also clear your cache, which is all of the information that Safari has been keeping for you, you can tap on clear cookies and data. This makes it a very private browsing experience on your iOS device. Now there are other options too, if you'd like to block your pop-ups, use JavaScript, or have fraud warnings if you go to a not so secure website, you can actually turn on fraud warnings, which is very helpful. And that is how to set your browser settings on Safari in your iOS 5 device. That's been Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.